This does my heart good, being an old man that grew up in USAC racing. <laughs> Gabby Chavez, IndyCar driver, said, you know what, I got the weekend off, I'm gonna go drive a midget. Kid, first of all, had you, growing up, had you ever seen sprint cars or midgets or anything like this? No, nah, well, I've, se I've seen them, but I know, you know, which which one was which. And uh, the first time I showed up at the shop, you know, to get my seat done and everything, I go, oh man, it's got a, the engine's in the front of the car. <laughs> so yeah, the guys were laughing at me, so, yeah. you know. Uh, not very uh, acquainted with them, but obviously I'm starting to learn. <laughs> What's cool is, though, is pe I think a lot, a lot of people think it's pretty neat, because this used to be the path to Indy, midgets and sprint cars. You and I were talking before that, but it's, did it, it w the first 10 laps in adventure, trying to figure out what the hell is going on? Yeah, I just feel like, it felt like a complete alien environment, you know, it's just, the wheel doesn't turn the way, you know, the same left to right, and you know, and you've got power steering, and it's, it's just completely different, and the car, you know, you're so busy in a short track, and and you've got one gear it's just every everything is just different so uh, you know my first five laps I'm thinking what am I doing here I, I don't know if I should even race you know and then you just get used to it and at the end of the day it's just another race car you're just trying to drive as hard as you can is it kind of fun getting it you were you did a good job in heat race you finished second you a little a little crossed up it's kind of fun being sideways oh man it's awesome I you know I I'm enjoying this and uh, hopefully one day I'll get to try this uh, on the dirt on the dirt that's right <laughs> heard it did you hear that there's a big there's a big <laughs> Outlaw race after in September, October. He has no IndyCar races. All right, we're going to keep an eye on this kid in the feature because he's going to go for ten thousand dollars. He's already gave me the wink, wink. All right, I was a Gabby Chavez fan before Brian Herta hired him, but uh, I think I might be his president's fan club now after I saw him here tonight at the Indianapolis Speedrome, running in the Tony Stewart Hundred Lap Midget Classic. That's right, United States Auto Club. Our IndyCar rookie goes. It's a throwback. It's throwback Saturday night. First of all, kid, hell of a job. You were running third, and you gave up a chance to win ten thousand dollars. You end up coming back to fifth. Just talk about your first experience at, for a hundred laps at speed in a midget. Yeah, I mean, at the beginning, I wasn't sure what to expect. You know, I had done a few laps, but I really hadn't done as many laps as I'd hoped I could before the race. Uh, so I wasn't that comfortable. But after a few laps out there, you know, running with traffic, you know, getting really close with other cars, you know, bumping, banging a little bit, I started to get really comfortable. Felt, you know, like I was getting into my zone, and all of a sudden, I just realized Man, I, I can beat all these guys so let's go I started making some moves started working my way through the front went up to uh, up to third had a good chance to win the race there and uh, we took on that challenge try to uh, where, where you got to start you know back at the back of the back again and uh, if you can uh, win from there it's 15 grand so we went for it you know had a blast doing it obviously we needed a caution there or something but you know worked our way back into top five and uh, had, I just had a blast out there you were funny because you said when you got your seat fitted you're like the engine's in the front, and we were talking in the infield. This is what used to be the path to IndyCar racing. How many laps, when you're sitting straight up with an engine in front of you, did you did, you, did it take? Did it take 20 laps to even get comfortable? Well, no, I was really comfortable. I spent a lot of time in the toilet, so it, it almost felt natural, you know. So it it really just right away, you know, felt nice. And what really had me at first was the steering. It's, the steer's really weird to the left and then to the right. You know, both sides are weird. And obviously the, the pedals, you know, you're in any car, I guess, you're, you know, you're pushing pedals forward. And this one's, you're almost standing on them. So that was really weird, really awkward the first couple laps. But, you know, after that, it's just, it's just another race car, man. You know, you just get in it. And uh, once you're at speed, you know, you could be sitting on a brick and you're still going to try to drive it fast. I was talking to your girlfriend, Gabby, <laughs> and I, and she goes, yeah, I thought maybe we'd go to the lake or something on our weekend off. No, he wanted to go race. But this is what guys did in the 60s and 70s. This is Mario and Foyt and Parnelli. That's what they did. I mean, you know, we're racers. We're racers. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a little disappointing that, you know, it's, it's, it's not more like that uh, present day. You know, if, if it was up to me, I'd be in a race car every weekend. You know, so, it, uh, and it just, it just reminds me of why I do this. You know, I, I do this because I, I love racing hard. I love racing. I love driving. And it just brings me a little bit back to, you know, to those roots. All right, we're going to get this kid a dirt car ride. I think Terre Haute's a good place for him. Half mile, fast, he's smooth. But I can tell you this, there's a lot of people in the speed room that might not know a lot about IndyCar racing and might not know about Gabby Chavez, but he made a whole bunch of fans here tonight at the Speed Room. Rob Miller for Racer.com.